All right. Um, you know, right here, I've just completed the 3D print of this, so, you know, I've got the little hinge thing. Now, this is going to mount on top of it like that, which is, you know, kind of like you see here. So, um, you know, I'm going to use some C acrylic cement or something to hold this down, and then i got a diffuser I'm going to put on top. Um, I went ahead and glued this piece to, to the base there, so, again, you can kind of see... You know what's going on. You know our electronics package will lay in here. The switch is coming out of it, and um, you know this lid. Well, I, don't, I don't have a put the um, hinge pin back in it. I got to glue it in later. I, I don't want to glue it in just yet, though. Um, there it is. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, so. Like I said, that ought to be pretty, pretty nifty. So we'll see how that works later when I do the circuit boards and stuff. See, I tend to do the circuit boards in batches because, you know, with this, uh, you know, with this uh, roll end, I've got to actually use double-sided high-strength tape to hold the workpiece down, and it's a pain in the butt to remove it. So. Um, so I tend to like to, you know, do all my circuit boards all at once, and, uh, but before I do the next set of circuit boards, I need to take some of this 2447 acrylic, and, you know, which is what I'm going to fast, you know, fabricate the disc to go on, to mount on top of that out of. Um, but I'm going to fabricate probably a couple different pieces out of this, too, so I want to, you know, get the design done on this next project and some so forth before I go taping this down and, um, glue everything together, so, um, anyway, it just makes the, the thing work a little more efficiently on the Roland, um, so anyway, 